So what is the European Union and what effect does it have on uh, international business and law? Well, to start with, it's a pseudo-governmental body um, in the European bloc. There are 27, uh, currently 27 member nations. Uh, the United Kingdom, uh, Britain recently voted uh, to um, break away from the European Union in a referendum, but uh, for a few years uh, they'll still be involved in this process of, of separation. So now, again, there's still 27 member nations. Uh, it's a uh, compact with the, uh, among these nations with the purpose of promoting social welfare and uh, trade among the nations. It focuses on the travel of individuals, goods, services, or, uh, or capital across uh, these country borders or in between the countries. So it provides somewhat of a framework and a uniform body of law uh, to govern um, trade in between these nations. Uh, so the notable aspect, of it, it has its own uh, governing body that can hand down rules and regulations and uh, issue decisions uh, with regard to disputes or policy issues among the nations. Uh, and it uh, allows for a, a uniform currency, the euro. Now, not all member nations of the uh, EU use the euro, but many do uh, as their primary currency. And uh, again, it, it, it allows for this common system of law between these nations, and it allows these nations to collectively uh, negotiate with and enter into trade relations and agreements uh, with other nations based upon these uniform laws for the entire uh, European Union.